Yeah, that's right, Cinemoth got buffed. Is it gonna improve it a lot? No, but it's a buff. Okay, then, hopping into the first battle, there's not too much that Cinemoth could do, but we're still gonna give it a try. The Nimari could get rid of entry hazards, but we're still gonna set some barbs up either way, although with Samarine lead, I might just wanna hit it instead. Nah, what's the worst thing Samarine can do? It's not even rev up. Okay, it actually just goes for the baffle immediately. So, is this like a bulky baffle one? Because I haven't really seen any of those. Okay, goes into the Sochi, takes a little bit of damage from the barbs. We like that. Okay, well, Sochi outsped my Gobidemic. Oh, wait, wait, no, I got baffled. I was gonna say, is it boots? But no, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> but hey, one more layer of barbs. My only real swatching, swatching, my only real switching to a Sochi is Meditoad. Uh,. I don't think else my team really wants to take a foul chance, and that Pyrokinesis still did a good amount of damage to me. We just go for Thunder Strike here, I don't think they really have anything that wants to swap into us, especially not a Samarine. This is quad effective, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Terrifying? Don't care. See you later Samarine. Drone Slip is kinda nice to get rid of because Cinemoth can't really hit it very hard at all. Okay, Ikazuna is coming out, unfortunately we can't outspeed it with Cinemoth, so I guess I just take it down. I guess I could try and baffle against it, but I don't know if that's really worth it because I don't even know if I can one-shot it from full L. So we just get rid of it. Okay, Deladrix. Probably should have sent this out before you sent out the Ikazune. Just letting you know. Anyway, here we actually go into Venelon. So I brought Venelon with Varcher Heavy Shackles so I can try and make some things slow enough so my cinema can actually outspeed it because yet our speed stat isn't the best like what 83 84 ish it's not the best our range attack is all right after a magnify is pretty good but hey at least now we can actually get to 250 energy with our energy stat being increased although yeah cinema the buff isn't like amazing for it, but I mean, hey, a buff's a buff, we can't complain about that. Okay, I think here I'm actually gonna sacrifice my Meditoad. Not actually sure if Solch is gonna one-shot me from this range, but either way, I don't really wanna sacrifice Godbademic because it's still really, really fast, so yeah, this is by far my best weapon. I'm gonna fire off a Psycho Blast in hopes that it doesn't KO them, and hopes that they go for another foul chant, which I'll go for elemental burst. Okay, well, that's a little unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that they would waste all of their energy so I could go for a free magnify, but clearly that didn't work. Oh well, here we are, Cinemoth. We are a new energy stat. We can finally get to 250. I guess we just click Ferroblast here. Like, yeah, we could try and click magnify, but uh, the Deladrix is just going to swap in after and just KO us anyway. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not the greatest uh, team to set up against. Okay, then, and there is Tatab, which uh, I have brought your snack for, so we just go your snack, we click Baffle, and we go back into Cinema. Right? Okay, actually, just goes for Ill Will. Wh why? Well, either way, I'm clicking Baffle. The X was popped out into the Deladrix, so hey, I'll also take it. My Cinema should also outspeed this, so. Yeah, we're not really clicking Magnify, but I mean. I'll take a free KO, basically. I think we just click Airblade. Uh, don't think it's really worth me trying to click anything else. So, yeah, we'll take it. Although Deladrix is like paper-thin defenses, so... That's probably why I one shot it. Whereas Tatab... I think a full health, it might actually live an Airblade. I'm not entirely too sure. Probably should give Cinemoth Jetstream at this point, but it doesn't really make sense as a rally move because then we have Sumo Beto. So, it'll probably get it as a later level up move. Okay, then we just click Baffle here again. We definitely should outspeed them now with Cinema, so... Just gotta pray that we one-shot them. I think we do. I, I, we, we should. If we don't, Cinema, please help. But yeah, I mean, the buff isn't, like, that amazing, but it is nice that it actually has a decent energy stat now to actually spam a lot of moves, whereas before... It'll, like, click two moves, and you're already, like, needing to wait on rest. Okay, Lane, hopping into the next battle. Definitely not the best team to fight against, but there's a few things that we might be able to do, and uh, also, I forfeited a lot of battles, so I gotta try something. I think they have things to get rid of entry hazards. Looks like they don't have anything to set up their own low, so my plan here was just to lead up with your snack and baffle, but that's a pair of mind, which, uh... Don't be a bane of haste setter, please don't. I mean, honestly, this Pyramind could really mess my team up. My two tanks really don't like Pyramind. Or my types in general, really, so yeah. Oh, actually, 
they got my specialization and I got idiosyncratic. That doesn't really change much because Mato's stats are like practically the exact same, so I'm just gonna click Thunderstrike. They actually stayed in, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I clicked Thunderstrike and then I remembered, oh wait, they have a Tyrex. Glad they didn't go into it low. But uh yo, can I get that uh can I get that ability back, please? I mean I mean, I'm not gonna do as much damage anymore, which really sucks. Come on, give me a range defense drop. Come on. I know you want a game. Please, please, no, no? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not really sure why they have been a case because they're only like slow looming is crack lower and per mind, everything else is like fairly fast. Unless like all of their team members have like very sluggish, which I kind of doubt it to be honest. Killing heartbreak. Is it enough to break the scapegoats? It is not. That is a really, really tanky Tyrex. That is not good. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is not good at all. Okay, at least the second one breaks it. You're not going to set up another one immediately, okay? Okay, we're good, we're good. So, good news is I actually... Okay, never mind. I don't have speed anymore. Benefit has just ended. So, I think we just go for Heartbreak again because I'm assuming they're going to set up another scapegoat. Although, they don't. They just withdraw into Pyramind. I need to get Cinema Pin against this thing. I'm afraid it doesn't go for a Bane of Pierce, because that would suck. So I need you to hit yourself, and I'm going to... I really can't baffle, I need my Euro Snack. I'm gonna go into Gobidemic, I think. A really bad matchup, but I kinda want a couple of layer of barbs up, just to get a little bit of chip damage, and to try and like force them into something that needs to get rid of them. But they do go for Bane of Pierce, which is not good, obviously, because, uh, I am super fast, like one of the fastest Lumians, so gonna click barbs, gonna pray for the best, but we're probably gonna get it by like a Psycho Blast. Did I even give this thing Psycho Blast or is it something else? I think I gave it Psycho Blast, but yeah, there's Stratosaur, which uh, definitely has gusts. I guess this thing is kind of, not, no, not really. That's like 81 speed or 80 speed. Not really slow, although it is really unfortunate that they brought the Stratosaur because, uh, it is a complete counter to our cinema. Like, it resists bug, it resists air, it doesn't really care about life drain, so yeah, and Magnify isn't gonna help me break through it. Although Lex, I didn't go for Gust, so yeah. And the best part which sucks about this is that I need to hit Stratosaur with a Thunderstrike, but they have a Tyrex, so I can't. Okay, they do go for the withdrawal. I'm assuming it's back into Tyrex. It is, but hey, that's what the Babs are for to get that chip damage. Make the Tyrex weaker, so now our Cinema definitely can one shot it with a life drain. And we got the range defense drop, which wasn't necessary, but I'll take it. Here, then, we just go back into your snag and we click Baffle if they don't set up Scapegoat. I don't think they can, their health is so low, and I don't think this thing has health amulet because I haven't seen it go off once. We tanked that fairly well, and yeah, it's not health amulet, right? No, it's not, okay. And being the ended, so we just go for Baffle. We can't really click. Magnify against a Tyrex. We might be able to now, but I think it has just barely enough energy for one skill crusher. But hey, Cinemoth's about to get in and to go for some free damage. But yeah, also, it's not really worth me clicking Magnify because I have Stratosaur. I need to get rid of it first. But it ain't gonna stop me from getting one KO, okay? So see you later, Tyrex. That's one KO for Cinemoth. And Joltu, okay, this thing is really tanky. Even we have Magnify, I don't think we want it from full health. I gotta get a lot of chip damage. And the unfortunate part is my uh, only really swapping to this thing, which isn't really good swapping in the first place, is really, really weak. So, uh, not really sure how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna go into Venelon. I gotta be careful because they might have a Bar Badger still. We've only seen four of the Lumion so far. Tyrex is down, Joltu, Stratosaur and Pyramide. If it's Crackler, we're nice. If it's Bar Badger, I really, really need my Eurostack alive. Uh, also, Lex, they just did that, so that's kind of nice. I guess I could just go for the Poison, because we actually do bypass Stratosaur's ability, so we actually do get to get some nice chip damage, but they do just hit us, which is unfortunate. But hey, I got Poison off, so I'll take it as a win. Also, I just realized, the Joltooth also has been a face, but again, their team isn't like that's slow, to be honest. We really need your snack alive in case they do have the Bar Badger, but I'm assuming they're just gonna click Thunder Clap again. So I'm gonna go into my Eurosnack to tank it because we resist it and we have tank. 
They go for Clay Sapler, which shouldn't do that that much, but uh, yeah, it's not really good for us. Also, I just realized they gave the Joel to Bane of Haste and Clay Slap, so they just made me slower, which in Bane of Haste makes me go first, which is pretty good. So I actually get to baffle, so I just got a little bit of health amulet, health back. I get a baffle to get the heck out of here and to go into something else. Although, I am making him even slower, which also makes him faster in Bane of Haste, which isn't the best, but I mean it's fine. But there's that. Joltooth only has like, what, one more move left, which is nice, and I think Bane of Haste ends this turn. It didn't end. Okay, going to Godbidemic Clan. Godbidemic's nice here. We could just go for barbs and just try and get some more chip damage on things, but at the same time, we need to take this Joltooth down, so I'm just going to click Muck Blast. We are also fast, but we have Clutch Plushie, so it's just not going to one-shot us no matter what. And because they're poison, we... Actually, no. I think I'm immunized, so I don't get extra damage for him being poisoned. But that's fine. They actually are out of energy now, so I will go for Barbs. Or do I have enough for Clay Slap? That's the issue. I'm going to go for Barbs. I'm going to be a little bit greedy here. And they didn't rest, so I'm assuming they have enough for Clay Slap. They do. I have made a mistake. Godbidemic would have been pretty nice to keep, I'm not gonna lie. I think we go Meditoad here. I would love to go into Sidemoth and get another free KO or a Magnify, but because they still have that Stratosaur, I gotta take it down first, and Meditoad is my way to do that, so I wanna go for Rest to make sure I have enough energy to try and do so. Even if they go for the Flail here, it's not gonna do much damage, but they actually go for Rest, which means Poison's gonna take them down. Oh, this is their Health Amulet Lumion. It just should faint, right? Okay, good. So yeah, we want to make sure that our Meitoad has enough energy load to try and get rid of that Strassaw, otherwise we'll be in big trouble. But there is the Pyramind coming back out. Let me guess, you're gonna click Bane of Haste again, aren't you? I kinda want to go into my Cinemoth, to be honest, but we'll go... Yeah, I'll just hot swap into Cinemoth here. Like, if I get the Bane of Haste up, like, what is it really gonna do to my Cinemoth flow? I guess it could get rid of my uh, Flutter ability, which actually would be really smart. If they could take my Flutter ability, that means Pyramine can just really swap in, although I don't think it actually works with Barbs right now. I think it's actually broken for that. We click Feral Blast here. They're most likely going to Stratosaur. I would assume there's a Stratosaur, but there's a little bit of chip damage from the Barbs. And Feral Blast does nothing. Great. Oh, let's go back out again into what is Holy Bunch. Okay. How do I beat Holy Bunch? Well, that's actually good. It's Holy Bunch and not Bar Badger, so we don't really need my Eurosnack as much anymore, which is nice. The issue is, uh, my range tank died, <laughs> so this isn't good. I think we sacrifice my Eurosnack here because we don't really need it anymore for the battle because, I mean, it doesn't really do anything to any of them. Shadow Sprint is kind of nice, but I don't really need it, so we can just try and stall out, um, Bane of Pierce. Also, I know why they have Bane of Haste now. It's for this thing. This is like the slowest thing they have on their team. Everything else that they have is kind of fast. Let alone like Paramind and Jolto, but that's really about it. I would love to go into Cinema right now. I don't think we live low. Like 105 range defense. Is that enough to live one hit from Holly Bunch? I kind of want to say no. And even if I do live, do I one shot it in return? Probably not either. Although, don't really have an option right now because uh, I kind of really need my Meditoad still. I'm not going to think about it. We just click Ferro Blast. I easy tank a hit. We just do. Although the range attack drop really sucks. Oh, now I, I think even with that range attack, even if we didn't get that range attack drop, I don't think we'd have one shot it. But here we just click Ferro Blasts and the Holy Bunch should faint. So just barely live. Like just, just barely. I'll take it. Oh, unfortunately, I only have one more move on Cinemoth. So here, I kind of just want to attack them with Life Drain just to get an extra little bit of damage. But is it the best thing I can do? Not really. But I'm going to do it. I think I just need as much damage on the Strassar as possible. If we go for the perch here, then that sucks. But I honestly have no idea what they're going to do. They might predict me to swap out into Meitoad and go back into Pyramind for another Bane of Haste. Which it looks like that was probably the plan, so I probably should have gone for Fair Blast again. But there's some Barb's damage, and here's Life Drain damage. Oh, and they need to go for a rest, so we both get to rest here. Oh, that critical hit didn't really matter. 
but I'll still take it. I ain't gonna complain about it. Just don't flail, please. Go for wait or rest, please. Ple please. Come on, please. He would be amazing if I could get a magnifier for, let's be honest. Probably ain't gonna happen. If I can get a magnifier, I could potentially beat all of them. Kinda wish I rested and predicted the Paramine swapping, honestly. If I thought about it a little bit more, I probably would've just rested and prayed for the best. But I didn't do that, so we don't get a magnifier. So we are gonna struggle with the Strassor with the Cinemoth, but we still got Maytoad. We can get rid of it still. The Strassor coming back in on some Barb, so... I don't think I've actually really done any damage to the Strassor, other than like hit it with what, one Pharaoh Blast? I think all the damage it's gotten so far is just been from Barbs. Yeah, then just stays and goes for Perch, that's completely fine. Here, I think we just go for Psycho Blasts and just predict the uh, Holy Bunch to swap in, right? Like, okay, it stays and goes for Jetstream, it isn't gonna do much. If my speed lowers, it doesn't really matter, so I just hit it with the Psycho Blasts. We got the range defense drop, so now we gotta hit it a little bit harder, so that's great. And here I think we just go for Fun Strike Land. Even if Holy Bunch swaps in here, it's not really like that great, because it is fa on fairly low health. And it can't really hit me that hard, since it already has used a little bit of energy, but yeah, we just take out the Strassor. It was out of energy, it, re it really had to rest, because it couldn't really like swap into Holy Bunch or swap back out on the Cinemoth when it needed to rest, because I get like a free magnifier off at that point. So, uh, yeah. I kind of want to be a little bit greedy and go into my Cinemoth and try and beat it with Cinemoth, but, uh, I don't think that's really worth it, because this thing has Spectral Burst now. It could KO me! Okay, I'll spend it. Okay, I'm gonna say. I did give it Spectral Burst, it could have just killed my Minitoad and my Cinemoth if I just had swap. so I'll take it okay, but hey, Cinemoth. Kinda help there. Jumping into the set line, we're running 200 speed TPs with Nimble to be as fast as possible. The 200 range attack TPs with Smart lets us hit as hard as possible. The 84 energy TPs gives us a total of 250 energy to use at level 50, which lets me go for 2 magnifies and 4 Pharaoh Blasts, or 1 magnify, 2 Pharaoh Blasts and 3 Air Blades. And the 16 health TPs are then just leftovers. For the item, we really like damage, so our best option is going to be using the Bug Essence, since we'll be relying on Pharaoh Blast most of the time. But you can use any other damage increasing item, like an Essence or a Shell. Then for the ability, we're running the Secret Ability Flutter, which makes us immune to all entry hazards, Although, I think it's still bugged and doesn't ignore barbs right now, which will be fixed in the future. And finally, for the moves line, we're running Magnify to set up, which can give us a lot of good damage output. Fair Blast and Airblade are going to be our strongest stab options, and then Life Drain is our last move that gives us a little bit extra coverage and also lets us recover a little bit of health. 